new young talent. Hey, I'm Luis. And I'm Luis. And you're listening to the Content is Profit podcast. We spent the last four years learning the strategies and techniques from some of the top marketers in the world on learning how to turn their content into profit. If you want to learn more on how to turn your content into profit, just go to contentisprofit.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, that, was, that was a smooth one today. That's smooth. smooth. It, it's, smooth. it's only been seven times. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, man. Today we have a super interesting topic. It's um, how we got so much business that we had to stop. Stop what? Stop what? That's the question, right? <laughs> we, we had to stop a challenge that we created for ourselves, right? And today we're actually going to share some of the secrets to not only creating these challenges for yourself, implementing them, and best of all, how to profit from them, right? Because at the end of the day, content is what? Profit. That's and again, right. there's several definitions of profit, whatever that means to you. Content can get you there, okay? For, now, for us, it means money, it, freedom. It, yep. it means the flexibility. That's right. So what does it mean to you? Put it in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. We'll share it in the screen for those that are watching the video live. Again, thank you so much for being here. We would love your support if you can comment or share the podcast with anybody else that you know. Now, where? how did we get to the challenge topic, right? That, yeah. Tell me about it. Tell me a little bit of the story on how we got there. So, well, first of all, the, the challenge that we're actually going to be talking about is a, is a content challenge, right? And uh, this whole thing started because um, we started with a fitness challenge, which was insane right so we i used to work in a fitness studio uh clearly i do not look like i used to work in a fitness studio right now but at the time i I think it was like about two months or so that i wasn't working out and so i was coming into the studio from like 5 a.m to 10 p.m it was like very long hours i will go home in between um and some of the members started to to tell me stuff they're like hey Luis, you know you, you like, do you work out? And I'm like, ah, sometimes I used to, right? I used to do like four times a week, go into the studio, get my sweat on. Um, and, and it really got me because when people started doing that, like they, it, it means that, you know, something is changing and not for the positive, right? So we're like, we need something uh, drastic. <laughs> we need something drastic. And one night, my brother, I'm actually sitting like in the couch of the house, just like watching TV. My lazy booty was there sitting watching TV. <laughs> and my brother comes in and is like, I found it. I found the solution. And I'm like, solution to what? It, it looked insane, honestly. The first time I saw it, I was like, man, how can people do this? Yes. So he shows me his phone. And then I, so I, I go to the kitchen, right? I grab his phone. And, I, and I'm looking and I'm like, you, you can't be serious, right? You can't be serious. Um, and all I see. It, it, it was a challenge that literally takes you from zero to 100 real quick. Y- yeah like and by zero to 100 i mean zero effort laying on the couch my brother type to <laughs> 100 all out you'll see what happens so anyways i'm looking at this phone screen I, and it says something at the top with a skull right the logo is a skull <laughs> so it's not a great start and it says 75 hard and i'm like what is this yeah so Those of you that are listening that, you know, are in the entrepreneurial world, right, in the grind, the hustle, you guys probably have heard about Andy Frisella. He's the one that brought 75 hard to the market, I would say, and he had a bunch of people just doing that challenge. And it, I mean, he doesn't need to like profit out of that challenge, right? Like he, he is his brand, yeah. but he brought so much awareness with that challenge But at the same time, he was helping so many people. So, sorry, go on. So, yeah, so I look at this thing, right? And and if you listen to Andy's podcast, he's very straightforward, right? Like he's like, he has no filter. He says what he, like what he thinks. It doesn't matter, right? He doesn't give a a clear, like he doesn't give a F, right? We're not going to just say that. (laughs) Anyways, so I I, I see this call and then I see from one to 75, right? So it's basically a checklist. And it has some rules. And at the moment, I don't remember the exact rules, but it was like, you have to work out twice. So you have to do two workouts per day, every day for 75 days straight. You have to drink one gallon of water. You got to read 10 pages of a book. Audiobook doesn't count. Audiobook doesn't count. Audiobook doesn't count and eat clean, right? So I think those those were the rules. 
And uh, and I was like, heck yeah, let's do it, right? And my brother's like, yeah. Yeah, we, we were pretty pumped up, not going to lie. Because, again, if you have listened to the earlier episodes, you know part of our story. We come from a soccer background. We grew up playing soccer. My brother, he lived in Europe for a while playing soccer. We both came to the United States on college scholarships to play soccer. So we pretty much grew up working out and practicing almost every single day. But when our college careers were over and we didn't make it professionally, we kind of like hit just like a wall. like Massive oh, like, wall. Like we don't want to do anything. I and... started rolling down the street. <laughs> like I kept eating like like if I was still playing. So that was that was an issue, right? And uh, yeah. for some time, and this might be a story for, for a different time, we kept being active, right? Which was super cool. Yeah, we, but... we got to hear Jeremy saying, man, I got to do it. Jeremy, if you do it, let us know. I don't. I don't know if if I'm gonna join 100. My girlfriend here is turning her head, and she's like, "No," because that'll take a lot of time. Um, but I will definitely consider it because it, it was good. It, it yeah. gave us. It doesn't only give uh, you discipline. It just it helps you a lot. And I'm gonna share why was this good. Like it was a shock to the system, right? So one of the things that we did was we made this challenge public. So we made it like we went to Instagram, we went on lives. That was the other rule. You gotta, you uh, gotta make yourself accountable by publishing pictures and creating content around every them. day. It was like so on. a picture while you were doing content stuff like that. So we took it to a, a different level and we we started sharing Instagram stories. This was the first time I, I was actually logging in and and creating a purpose like story like every day. And I, um, we started to be very consistent. Yep. But the cool thing is like we were. It gave us a shock to the body, and eventually, uh, we started uh, to get results. So, I mean, with, definitely within within a few days. Oh, the alarm is going on here. Let's let's fix it. No, you're gonna have to turn it off, guys. Oh, whatever. It'll come up again. So that was a little parenthesis. Um, so yeah, the 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 challenge was super intense, but it takes you again from zero to a hundred in literally the first week that you're doing it you can start feeling the change. And it's not only the change physically, because honestly, personal, personally, even though the benefits were physical, the challenge was more about the, the mental strength, right? Like doing it, like holding yourself accountable, being disciplined, to finding the time to do it, right? Because that requires going to bed maybe a little bit earlier than you usually do, waking up a little bit earlier than you usually do, so those were some important factors of that challenge. And that challenge kind of like woke us up yeah, to I, the possibilities of, of challenges in general. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, one of the good things was like, um, I remember one specific day that I think it was like maybe 10 days in. And I was like, dude, I am so sore. I cannot move my legs. I, I don't know what to do. And, I, and I, up to that point, I thought a workout would have to be like, just go all out, right? So I went to my fitness studio, did a workout. I came back home around 9 p.m. And I'm like, I need to do another 45 minutes of this thing. What do I do? And I, I like, I'm super sore. But I, that's when I came to realize that is about the commitment with yourself yeah. through this challenge and to the people that is holding you accountable outside of the challenge, right? Um, and I just went out for a power walk. I just grabbed the two dogs and went out for a power walk and then did some abs and some, um, and, um, some crunches and, and some, um, pushups. Right. Yep. So it's about the movement and staying committed to that time. Right. Yeah, it's like Steven here. He just commented, right. He said discipline and time. And it's exactly that. So I'm going to move on a little bit here with the topic, right? Like how does that translate into content is profit. So after we did the challenge, I remember we were, I was at a coffee shop one day and I was actually working with my girlfriend and we were just sitting down and oh thank you thank you. He was working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and I was like okay like what I, I was amazed by the results especially on the discipline and accountability side of the challenge and I was like how can I like we preach uh posting right we preach publishing every single time. So how can we do so we hold ourselves accountable and we start doing it and we're consistent with it. So immediately in my head is like, well, I just did it for 45 days, not for 75 days. 75 days, yeah. Um, with the 75 hard challenge. So what if we do it with content, the same exact concept, right? And that's when what we call now 45 live 
started, which is or going live on Facebook for 45 days in a row. Yeah, it was pretty interesting because uh, we were, I, I remember, again, another day specifically, we go to this meeting and we sit down, right? And we're talking to a possible client at the time. And we're like, hey, we need to create a plan, right? A framework for your business so you can be present every day in and out. And obviously they did their homework. And at the time, um, our, our Instagram was completely empty. Uh, and again, that's a story for a different day. But Fonzie here decided to delete all the content that we had. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I thought you said it's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll, we're going to leave it there. If you want to know that story, just comment right here below. But anyways, so, and they're like, guys, like you're saying this, that we need to publish, that we need to be present, but you guys are not doing it. And I'm like, I get it, but go look at our clients, right? They are doing it and they're getting results. Um, we closed the deal, which was awesome, but we yep. came home and we're like, wow, we do need to drink our own Kool-Aid. So how can we make this happen, right? How can we... Uh, start publishing consistently Yep. with the amount of time that we got, right? Yeah, I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's about making it that making it that it works for you, right? Again, we mentioned this in the previous episode, minimal Bible content, but at the same time, the challenge is more for accountability, right? You yeah. want to stick to it and do it every single day. And pretty much like key to stay accountable is to share with others. Because honestly, I don't know, but personally, sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this for a week straight. After the second day, I'm like, I'm done, right? Because yeah. nobody else, like, even though I should be doing it, right, just for their, my, my own good, I'm not, like, nobody else is, like, holding me to that promise that I did. But when you do a challenge and you make it public, you're like, oh, man, now I'm not disappointing just myself, <laughs> but I'm going to disappoint all these yeah. other people that are watching and they're, like, tuning in to see my progress, right? Um, and so, honestly, at the end of the day, sorry, a little parenthesis, you need to do it just for your own good, whether people is watching or not, right? Um, so the, what So what happened with that first challenge? So we started doing it, 45 <laughs> Live. Again, it was awkward uh actually this is pretty funny like two days ago i was listening to ben settle from email players yeah. if, you, if you guys are not subscribed to his list do it because it's freaking amazing. amazing and he did his first live stream he's been doing emails for i don't know over 10 years way over 10 years and he did his first live stream about two days ago and he just had this joke that was hilarious he said that going <laughs> live for the first time is like having sex for the first time he said, it's awkward. You're probably going to hurt somebody. <laughs> but right after it, you want to keep doing it you all over keep again. Doing it. it's, it's a little addicting. And I think this is the reason why we do our podcast live in front of you guys. Uh, yep. We had that rush a couple days ago, which was amazing, right? So yeah. we definitely recommend it. Hey, once you go past that wall, that is super awkward because it was. Like at the time, we were working with content, but we, we never put that camera in, in front of our face to start recording yep. for our audience, right? We're nervous, right? We're like, we don't know what to say. I don't know what, you know, what value can I provide? Yeah, absolutely um, right. And um, and so what we started to do was during those 45 lives, we made it super public. So we announced it like crazy that we're going to be doing it. And then we started just documenting the day. So I think that was like my personal framework. I was like, how am I going to, what am I going to share? Like, I don't, I don't really want to teach anything right now. I just want to be comfortable with the camera. And that was the whole purpose of yeah. that first time, right? Because uh, honestly, I think that was it. Yeah, exactly. That was the main purpose of 45. Like we didn't go, uh, we didn't go with the mentality of, oh, we're going to get so many clients out of 45 live. It was more of, uh, let's uh, get over the fear of publishing and putting ourselves out there. Right. Yeah. So. I know. I look. <laughs> he anyways, got the, he got the, the wrong sound. So, um, anyway, so we got to get comfortable in front of this camera. So the challenge starts rolling, right? So, uh, and you got to a point where sometimes we're so busy during the day that we'll get home at 10 p.m. Yep. And we're like, shoot, it's not midnight yet. Let's go live, right? And we'll come in and we'll like, is somebody going to look at that video at, at 11 at night? Maybe not. But we have some people tune in. You never yeah. know. And it, it, it can be scrappy sometimes, you know. It won't be the best live of your life. But at the end of the day, you're still working. You're being consistent, disciplined, right? That's the challenge. What's all about being disciplined. And you start gaining that confidence. And yeah. then you start gaining momentum. And it's all about momentum. So it wasn't until about day 20 that, yep. uh, well, spoiler alert, we failed. We did not finish yep. 45 live. And I'm going to explain <laughs> why. It's a good reason, I promise. 
So I actually, this day, like I came home, it was like night at night and uh, I was sitting in this chair and I'm like, I think I'm just going to skip today. And it was like day 22 or something. And uh, again, like we've been like preaching this thing and we're like, oh man, like, okay, I'm just going to put my face on. Sometimes you just don't want to do it. My game face. And I remember that day we just had like a, not, not an argument, but we had a discussion with one of our clients. Because one of the posts that they did was so polarizing at the moment that he, this guy was calling my personal phone number. It's like, take down the post. And we're like, we're not taking yeah. down the post. This is going viral. It's so awesome. You have people on your side defending you. You have people on the other side. Yeah, that's what you want. You want to be that, creating conversations. So I'm like, oh, man. Like, I, And this conversation went for like about an hour. We're like tuning in and it, it just got late. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I don't want to go live today. But then I sat down. I'm like, okay, we got to stay committed. It, it remind, like I, I went back to the 75 hard to the fitness challenge. I'm like, we got to do it. So anyways, and this was, um, your alarm is all again. Can you please turn it off? <laughs> anyway, so we actually, I sat down in, in the couch and, uh, whoa, that was trippy. Yep. <laughs> For those listening, uh, just so you guys know, our setup is from a phone. It looks freaking amazing. <laughs> So if you want to see that as a blooper, just go to the YouTube channel or our Facebook page and you guys yep. will see it there. But yep. anyway, so I'm sitting in the couch and I'm recording this and what the story I'm telling is what happened that day with that post. I'm like, take it down. I'm like, I'm not taking it down. Take it down, you know, or we stop, whatever. So we did not end up taking it down. The Facebook live went, went on. It was about five minutes. And that same night, this guy who now we're super close friends uh, DMs me. And at the time, I just met him once, and it, it was super random. And he's like, hey, dude, we're having this content dinner at my house where we're going to sit down. We're going to talk about business and, you know, what you like and what you do. Do you want to be part of it? Like, this spot just opened up. And I'm like, perfect, let's do it. Well, that content dinner, we share what we do and brought us so much business from that Facebook Live that I did not want to do. Yeah. That we had to stop. To fulfill yeah. on the business that came out of that relationship. Yeah, no, it was it was a great experience. I, again, we stop around day twenty. <laughs> I think that's the honestly, I think that's the mark because again, yeah. we'll, we'll 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 get there. But yeah, day twenty, and we finally got like so much business at that point that we're like, dude, okay, let's fulfill now. Let's <laughs> let's actually do do our job. Let's do our um, job. So I want to transition here a little bit. And I want to go because I want we want to give them value, right? We want to give value to you that are listening, whether it is on your podcast or if you're watching right now live on Facebook. And we want to teach you guys kind of like the three secrets to get a challenge for yourself, for your business, and how you can use it to grow your business, right? Yeah. So secret number one is, first of all, you got to create a challenge for you. And the key word there is you. Because at first, and I'm sure you've seen this in the internet everywhere, we have seen everybody selling their challenges, right? Like, hey, oh, okay. join me for a 21-day challenge on, I don't know, how to make Instagram posts that sell, whatever, so many, right? I mean, we bought, honestly, we are big fans of Russell Bronson and the ClickFunnel community. And actually, the very first challenge that we did, um, the very first challenge that we did was the 30 day challenge from click funnels and yeah. it was it was amazing right so that was actually like our first challenge that we did on the business side that we actually completed too that we actually completed too exactly yeah it was 30 days in a row it was super cool yeah so again going back to the secret create a challenge for you and that's where our story of our first 45 live that's where it falls right because yeah we we, we created something that it was for us. It, the intent wasn't to sell it to anybody or anything, but we created something around our needs, right? Yeah. What we wanted. And at the same time, something that was that we could accomplish. That was we, doable. Yeah, exactly. that, I, I think that's the main thing with challenges. When you when you tackle, uh, let's say, a fitness challenge, right? Uh, a, a diet challenge, a content challenge, right? Yep. Most of the times, from the very beginning, we know that that person might not even complete it because it's not set up 
for the lifestyle of that person. So I think that was very key for us that we kind of merged the challenge into yep. something that we could complete. So we definitely encourage you, look at your daily uh, lifestyle, right? Look at what you do. If you're applying this to content, how can you fit in a challenge that is not going to take over your entire day that you can sustain over time because consistency is the key here. Yeah. If you do it repeatedly, it's going to get your results. We call it the collateral revenue. It's going to happen. That's what happened to us yeah. at, at day 20. You got to uh, don't get discouraged because a lot of times we're always looking at that little corner, right? And see the little Facebook eye icon that says how many people are watching your video. If it's a low number, who cares? Don't, don't get discouraged. Like, It doesn't really matter how many people are watching at that point. The video is going to last for a long time in people's feed. They're going to watch it. It doesn't matter if people don't comment because, you know, there are silent watchers. That story that my brother told about the content dinner, that guy was a silent watcher. Like he, he would never comment or like or anything. And all of a sudden he reached out to my brother and he told him, like, hey, dude, I like what you're doing. Yep. Come over to the content dinner. Right. So, so Steve says set achievable goals that will continue to motivate you as you achieve them. That's there you right. go, Steve. Thank you so much for commenting that, that you are absolutely right. Yeah. So, again, the, and the challenge, I, I, something that I want to be clear here, like make clear is we did the challenge around content because that's what we do for a service, as a service, right? That, that's how we help our clients with their content. So, if you have a business, right, that is, it, it gives a solution to a certain problem, I think most businesses usually use that solution as well, right? Like my brother mentioned, they drink their own Kool-Aid. So yeah, do a challenge around that that you can apply to your business as well. Not only in your life, right? Because again, if you do it just for your life, you can do a fitness challenge, X, Y, Z. But if we're talking on the business sense, do a challenge that can help your yeah. business. Because then if you're, if you're drinking your, Kool your own Kool-Aid, if you do a challenge that benefits your business right is solving that exact same problem that you're solving for your customers guess what you can do with that challenge you can turn it into a framework and then you can sell it which we're gonna go there now if you have if you're struggling with, with ideas for challenges let us know just drop them in the com in the comments below just do hashtag help and we'll get back to you yeah. on the comments And we're going to hopefully, you know, brainstorm a little bit and help you come up with a challenge. That's right. Hey, Anais says, don't get discouraged. That's right. That's don't right. get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Silence, silence watchers are a thing. They're, yeah. not, they're never going to like your comments. They're never going to like, like let you know that they watch, but they're there. Yep. And uh, you might have that opportunity that you can help them big time. So uh, moving on to secret number secret two. Secret number two. Test your challenge multiple times and share your framework. Yep. So now, test your challenge multiple times. And this is where the next part of our 45 <laughs> live story comes in, right? We did that 45 live challenge at first. And then we said, oh, we're so busy fulfilling. We're so busy fulfilling. That's the story and, we, and we told ourselves. That's the story we were telling ourselves, right? We're so busy fulfilling. But at the same time, as a business, you cannot stop getting clients. That's, that's, that's your, your priority as a business. Yep. So in January, actually, we went to Funnel Hacking Live. Let's go click funnels. <laughs> and we started telling the 45 Live story to a lot of people. We're like, yeah, yeah we did this. We're, we, we're um, like, even before, and sorry yeah. that I interrupted you, but like, even before the event, we had a two day event with a coaching group that we're part of, right? Yep. And these are all people, very high functioning people that have amazing businesses. And uh, they invited us to basically a dinner of the people that are in part of the program. So yep. we, we come in, we sit down, we leave our backpacks in this corner, and uh, we can see in the table that are the, like these leaders, right? Like these people that we've been looking up to, and they're sharing their, their stories, and they're sharing what they're doing at the moment and helping people out. And we're like, wow, this is amazing. So we sat in one of the tables. And uh, as we sat down, we introduced ourselves. Hey, I'm Luis. I'm Luis. Everybody's like laughing. You guys have the same name? Yeah, we do have the same name. We tell the story again. And uh, somehow we ended up in the topic of the 45 Live and we tell this story. And we had three guys in there that their eyes just go wide open as we told them that in day 20, we got so much business yep. that we had to stop. So... Guess what? Those three guys are doing 45 Live yeah, as we speak. I think that was like a little epiphany that we had 
that led us to secret number two, right? Test the challenge multiple times and create that framework. Because then we were like, wait, if we can do this challenge, right? Yeah. Then again, we're solving this problem that we had that our clients have as well. We can probably package this and do it with like other people, right? And that's, again, we were at that, that event. We were sharing this story with everybody. And we were like, you know what? We should do 45 Live again. Let's start it all over again. Let's repeat the challenge. Um, but this time, like he said, we had people actually do it with us. Yeah. So now we didn't test it just ourselves, but with the other people that decided to take action. So fun story. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I think my brother is still going on his 45 Live. He's, I, I think he's still going pretty strong day in 30 there. 30-something. I got to but check that out. I stop again at day, <laughs> around day 20. And it seems like day 20 is like the it's, benchmark it's right the barrier. there. Because, again, we got more business and we got busy fulfilling <laughs> because of the 45 live. We started having conversations. And this time we did it on a little bit more strategic way to yeah. drive more content conversations, which is going to be a topic for another episode. But we, if you've been following us for the you know, for the last month or two, you're going to notice that we've been preaching content conversations. Yeah. So again, we decided to do 45, 45 live. Uh, number two, we started testing it, testing it, testing it, sharing it with people, telling people to do it. And honestly, it was amazing, guys, because we've seen the results again, right? So it pretty much proved our framework, right? And now we can go to secret number threes. For those watching on Facebook Live right now, thank you so much for tuning in. Before I go to secret number three, just comment below or share the po the share the episode if you want to support us. We really appreciate it. If you're lo listening from you know uh, Spotify or iTunes, just let us a review. We would really appreciate it. We want to make this show better for you and everybody else that's listening. Now, if you are watching live, you can tell. Oh, where's the other Luis, right? I thought it was two of them. Well, he is plugging the computer because we're running low on battery and we do not want to uh, end the live stream. Now, what is secret number three, right? And this is the last secret and it is profit from your challenge. Again, content is profit. So how can we turn this content, this amazing challenge that we created for ourselves I'm back. and profit from it? Awesome. My brother is back. Yeah, there we go, guys. This is parenthesis <laughs> here. Okay, this is you. You gotta launch ugly. You gotta do. You gotta do what it takes, right? Before, like about a year ago, we 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 said that we we're gonna do a podcast, and we recorded about five episodes, and we got so technical that we wanted everything perfect. Yeah. That that thing never saw the light. We're gonna probably package those episodes because they're hilarious. Like I drop in one of those, I dropped the beer on my computer. Anyways. So <laughs> it, it, it was not very good looking. Yeah. Anyways, so and we decided we're going to publish like crazy. We're going to deliver value and we're going to be us. So if we make mistakes, we're going to own it. We're going to love it. And that's what just happened. I forgot to plug my uh, my laptop. I just went and grabbed the cable and I plugged it in. I mean, if you've been following this episode, you're going to uh, notice that my alarm has came, come up <laughs> like four multiple times. times. Um, we're recording from the phone. So we're like, ah, oh, no. So today... Has it been ugly? Yes, it has been a little ugly, but it doesn't matter because we keep moving forward. We keep moving forward. All right, what's now, the guys, next step? So secret number three, remember, profit from your challenge. And that, actually, guys, that's... It. Sorry, I got to take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah. Guys, that's exactly where we are right now in our business, right? We This secret number three that we're sharing with you, is it is actually part of like our business plan that we're doing right now at the yeah, moment. 100%. We are packaging this... 45 live experience, right? The same way that we tested it with our 45 live number one and with our 45 live number two and with the people that did it, you know, we got all their feedback and now we're creating this product that we can sell and hopefully earn some income for the business. That's step one. Step two, I think it's like, I, I think those frameworks are going to help a ton of people because guess what? Yep. While we do it and exactly what we're doing right now with this podcast, you guys are going to be part of a testing a content framework 
yep. that we build specifically for our business. And like I said, like like we said on step number one, do it for you. What works for you? If you want to follow other people, that's great. Yep. Model after them, but just grab maybe one piece, two pieces, and then adapt it to your own content strategy or your own business. Now, with the 45 Live, we've come to realize that that's a big step for a ton of people, right? Yep. We, we worked in different businesses. We worked with different businesses that – um, have no problem talking to people one on one, selling to people one on one, and then when we put a camera in their face, oh, it's it's a challenge, and we understand, and and it could be a mindset challenge, it could well, be something different. It's, it's like one of the biggest fears in the world is the fear of public speaking, right? I think is right up there with the fear of death. Yeah. So uh, if if pretty, you're watching right extreme. now, if you're watching right now, um, live, um, and you feel scared petrified of talking to a camera put a comment right below ask the question that you want to ask because we can help you right now or then we can jump on a quick call and help you out now this 45 like like my brother was saying we tested the framework it works for us we have data that that backs it up and hopefully this tool can help other people jump on right so it's not ready we continue to build it right yep uh, but that's the, that's the fun thing. We have people that even with the story, they're so excited to try this out and they're doing their own thing. And I remember Robert is one of these guys. He's jumping in and he's doing daily like conferences with other people inside of his network and they've been getting business, right? And everybody's tracking what, what they're doing, which is amazing. So we have specific data and we have specific dollar amounts attached to that content which yep. is awesome. So if you start producing that content, one way to stay motivated is track it. Yep. See what's That's coming right. from that content because you're going to see the results. Especially if you're going to, again, if you're going to go to secret number three and you're going to profit from your challenge, right? You're going to sell it. We know that there are emotional buyers, right? That might buy through just the emotional sense of, hey, I'm going to lose fear in front of a camera. That might be enough for them. But you also have the logical buyers that are gonna yeah. focus on these facts, right? And they want to know, okay, how much money does this challenge bring? How many conversations and leads can this content generate for me? So again, do your due diligence, yeah. track your uh, kind of like your results, and then you can use those when you package it and sell it. Yeah. So just I think wrapping up, right? Yeah. Um, and if you're listening, if you're listening, and this has been useful, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to try. 45 live again do it on your own you don't have to come in and, and buy from us this is not a thing that's for sale now hopefully it is by the time yep. you're listening but feel free create your own challenge maybe it's a week maybe seven days maybe it's 15 days there's a lot of frameworks around time and how a challenge can be more effective yep plan the the challenge around around you how can you be successful if for you being successful is going like three days and then you have a break and then you do three days again great for us we decided 45 so every challenge that we were seeing at the time was 30 days 30 days 30 days yeah. um every fitness challenge was two weeks 30 days or whatever so we yeah. went through this amazing crazy maybe stupid idea of 75 days of two workouts a day yeah. we survived and we're like shoot let's apply that to content and that's what worked for us and like i said at day 20 we had to stop because we got so much business and the second time around, around day 20, my brother had to stop because we got so much business again. So I made the commitment that I'm going to finish this 45 live because I want to see the entire yeah. data. And this Facebook or this podcast recording that we're doing right now is live because it's mm -hmm. part of the challenge. Yeah. So build in your other frameworks and put them inside of your, inside of your operating day. Um, to start publishing consistently, right? How can you be present in front of your audience every day? Make it fun. Yeah, make it fun. That's it. You know, and you just got to step out of your comfort zone. That's it at the 100%. end of the day. You know, step out of your comfort zone so you can be in in a place of growth and not only just growth yourself personally, but hopefully your business as well. Now, I think we reached the end here. And yes. I'm going to actually make you guys a quick little offer, right? Because, again, we said we're packaging this 45 live and we... We, we're, we don't have it ready yet to sell it, but we would love to test it out with a few people, right? We want to open a beta group, get a few people in so we can actually say, 
we already tested and we know it works for a certain people, but we want to get a group and go through the challenge all the way to see if it's going to work yeah. for most Mandy people. says, I used to be nervous to go live, but now that I've done it dozens of times, I feel much more comfortable. Yeah. Mandy, thank you so much for sharing that comment with us. Um, I think her story is super cool too because yep. she's actually going live with uh, influencers in her field. So she's actually doing a double live and talking to two different audiences. Yeah, so what she's doing, like amazing. She's, she's trying to grow her audience by looking, doing her, her research and looking for other people that fall in her market. And she says, you know what? I can share a good conversation with her and I'm, I can share the stage. So I am going to be exposed to her audience. She's going to be exposed to my audience. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? It's about collaborating yeah. and yeah. growth. Go, go check her out. Uh, Travel Gives on Instagram. Yep. So uh, they're doing amazing things. Um, now, guys, like, well, I, I think I interrupted you on, on the offer. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> we are doing the beta. And if you are interested in it, just let us know in the comments below. If you're watching this on Spotify, I don't think you can do it on... You, you can send us a DM. You can send us a DM on Instagram. Instagram Biz Bros Co. So, at Biz Bros Co with Z and S at the end. That's right. Um, and and we'll, we'll respond all the comments, all the DMs. Yep. If you're watching this live on Facebook, just drop it in the comments below. Do hashtag beta and we're going to reach out to you. Yeah. So I think I think that's it. I, I think don't think, it, yeah. I don't see any more questions kind of coming along. But hey, guys, feel free to follow us on every social media platform. Yeah. We are at Abyss Bros Co. Facebook, subscribe, Instagram. Live, subscribe in your, in your <laughs> local podcast Station. Yeah, just, just go. Just go. Go, go take just, some action. Just follow us. Take some action. Have fun. If you try these things out, let us know. Like, we want to we want to know what's going on. Yeah, we want we, to talk to you. We want to talk to you. We want to know if this works. And with that being said, we are out, guys. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. See you guys on Monday. Hey. Hey.